Building content requires a lot of research. Without research, your content has no backbone. This right here is phrase.io and with phrase.io, you can cut your research time in half. Let me show you how. So this is the phrase.io platform and it is divided into two sections. It's divided into content creation and then we have a phrase assistant, which I will show you in the end of the video. First to begin with, we have our documents and this is where the entire thing starts. I press create new document and in here, what you enter here is the most important thing because that is what the target search query is. And they say that long tail works best. And this is a huge bonus using phrase.io because normally these types of software, they need the short tail keywords. So this is great to see. Let's try and type in something about WordPress plugins. So we have best image optimization WordPress plugins. In the advanced sections down here, you choose if you want results from a specific domain for your research or just top Google results. I often choose top Google results and then you choose the country you want to target. Here I have United Kingdom and the language English. They do have different languages down here. You can see, but I'll keep this as it is. And then I'll press create document. And what happens now is that phrase when I press let's go will now analyze the top 20 search results for this search phrase. And it is now ready. So here you can see that we have the average word count of 2.6 K words. We have six headers in average, two links only, and then 17 images. So a lot of images are used in this type of post. Here you can see the different types of rankings. This is ranking number two, for instance, number three, and you can easily paste the entire outline if you like it. And then you can keep working from this. I will just delete it again. Or you can just take specific ones if you like this one and this one, for instance. That's how easy it is to paste over the content. Of course, you need to change it so it doesn't look like you just copy pasted it. If you get overwhelmed with this view, you can also just only show the headings, only show the links, the stats and the related news as well. I usually just keep it on the overview because I don't use so much from here. I usually go to the outline here and in here we need to open the SERP Explorer. So here you can see that all of the different ones that we saw just before in the overview are also listed in here. So now let's see this one here. I like this one, how I'll test the plugin. So first I'll explain how I have performed my test. Then let's see what else we have to work with. I think I'll also add the headline installation and then I'll start to add some of the different plugins like short pixel, Resmush it again. We have short pixel here. Then we have EWWW image optimization and imageify. And last but not least, I want to add a conclusion as well. This one here. So I like this outline. So let's save this one. So what you can do now is that you can either use to edit these fields because here we have the entire section, including the text. So we can edit these different fields by, of course, adding new ones or removing some but we can also summarize this specific point. We can also paste the entire point if we just want to use it. Of course, we don't want to do that. And then we can rewrite it. So let's say I like this one, but I want to rewrite it so I'm not hit by duplicate content. So right now the phrase.io's A writer is now working on rewriting the entire section and then pasting it in. So let's see how this will go. Right now it's slowly pasting in where it's saying the original JPEG image is compressed. The original PNG image is compressed. And then it's just starting to write here. There's no noticeable difference in quality. I'm going to try short pixel and then it continues on to write. So now you can see I hit the limit because I'm on the free plan right now for the SEO writer. But this you can easily do. What you can also do is that you can make an AI draft up here. With the AI draft, you need to give some background context to what it is you want the AI to write for you. And then it will make this. And in the AI drafting style, you choose whether you want to rewrite competitors content, summarize or write completely new AI content. And this is based on what you type in here. So let's just take the article title and then type in and then you can say start draft. Again, I've hit the limit, but then you will get an entire AI draft that you can work with. 
I just want to say that you don't need the AI writer to be able to use phrase.io. The articles I have been able to rank number one, I've written completely manually. It is just the outline and the entire research that phrase.io give, which is so powerful. Here in our brief, we can craft an outline. We have basically already done that. Then we can automate the brief. And the brief is basically, let me show you just for a moment here. It's taking all of the research and trying to make it and compress it into a brief. So you can see we have the overview, what should the goal, target, audience, deadline, and project on it, owner be. And this is if you want to send it to someone else, because here you have questions, which I will show you just in a moment as well. We have the SERP for this specific search phrase. Then we have the top 20 topics around this search phrase. We have topic clusters as well. You can see we have so much research done by phrase.io in less than a minute. And that is what makes this so useful. If I go back to brief up here, there's not much more to show, but we can also check optimize because optimize is what I have used in order to rank my articles. Here it is showing me the most important phrases that I need to use in my article. And when I have fulfilled it, you can see then it becomes green. And this is based again on the research. So it has scanned the top 20 results on this specific search phrase. And then it's saying, okay, in average, these 20 results use original images two times, image compression plugin two times, lazy loading two times, and so on down there. So this means that you at least need to touch base on this. And all of these search words you can also use to build out your outline if you don't want to use the AI writer. I have done that multiple times. It's just important that you don't just start writing the words because they tell you to write the words. You need to use the words that make sense for your article. But here it's telling you the most important words that phrase that IO finds based on the research. And then up here you can see that the average optimization score on this search phrase is 52.8 and right now I am on 70%. Furthermore, you can also choose if you want to filter out, let's say that I only want to see the headers, then it will only show the headers which they recommend I use. I can also go back to the long tail which I usually use. We can also choose the top topics as well here and this one is also very useful. And the last one is just to filter out the different words. If you want to only see the completed ones, if you want to see all, if you want to see topic gaps as well, and so on. So there's so much great potential and great data here you can work with. Now they do also collect questions. And what's important about an article is that it needs to answer questions. So here we can see what type of questions are asked within my search phrase. Again, this is pulled from Google. So here you can see that they're asking which WordPress image optimizer plugin performs best. Okay, maybe I need to focus this article on what of these plugins are performing best or the next one, when do you need it? So maybe in the introduction, I need to describe when you need this optimization plugin. And then you can just move on and go on and on with all of these different questions. It is just so great content because this guides you on the way that you need to write your article. They do also pull content from Wikipedia, where you can see Google Images, Google Chrome version history. This is not so relevant. It's on a very high level talking about WebP, which is an image format. It's also have APNG, image editing, and this is a bit of a mix. Last but not least, we have the AI writer, which I've already shown you, but here it's more open. So here you can say, okay, I want to write, let's say 150 words about this specific topic here and the creativity should be in the middle and then I can press write from me. But again, I have hit the limit. So if I press, then I will be asked to upgrade. And that is the editor. You can easily, without using the AI writer, write an article which will rank number one. Of course, if the keyword has a lot of competition, you maybe need to rethink it, but go after the long tail keywords. But now let's go back out here to all of the documents because we also can build outlines here based on keywords. So let's go back and take our title here, go back to the outline and then enter our keyword and then create document. Right now I cannot do this because I need to upgrade to use this specific, but this is again pulling data via their SEO add-on and then building an outline for you. Before I show you the phrase assistant, I also want to show you templates. 
because within templates you are sharing templates with others but others can also share templates with you and templates are built to create the most intriguing articles possible so here you can see some of the different articles where it's saying high impact headlines amazon reviews version 2 a conclusion generator and so on and if i go to this template you can see that over here it has shown me the template and how i can use this one to create the best conclusion possible and this is ai writers created by the community so this sharing thing within phrase.io is again so powerful because not only now is it phrase.io's developers sitting and developing on phrase.io but even the users within the community are sharing with each other so we can create the best possible articles. And then there's also some simple analytics where we can see data from Google Search Console. This is not so relevant. You can see that the status here is a quick win because it has ranked fast. Here's an opportunity to maybe optimize this one to perform a little bit better. Down here we have a top result which is within 1 to 10 and so on. So this is just a quick way of seeing your data from Google Search Console. We also have queries, questions and clusters. Again, this is pulled from Google Search Console and some of it is combined a little bit with the data that Phrase has. But it is limited what is worth looking at because these clusters are a bit of a mix I will say because these cluster labels I'm already focused on all of these different keywords so it's basically just showing me what I already know but let's move on to the phrase assistant or the phrase answers because in here you can set up multiple assistants that will answer questions for you on your website completely automatically so here you can see that we can set up a display with uh, in this case a robot you can choose your colors your fonts then we have where the knowledge comes from. I will dive into that just in a moment. The customer journey where you can set up specific messages. You can also completely build your own journey. The site search where they can search for different articles. If you want to use a live chat as a fallback. So if the robot can't answer your question, then it will be redirected over to a chat which could be intercom or drift or something third. You can also set in sentiment for exit pop-up and then you have other settings in the bottom. This is basically how we know it from all widgets we set up on our website, very simple. But all of the knowledge comes from your website. So here you can see that it is crawling my website and it has found 170 pages. I will just refresh that because there's come a lot since. And this is the data that it uses every time it needs to make an answer. I will show you how the phrase assistant looked just in a moment. But here we also have analytics based on the phrase assistant. Very simple, you can see the amount of users, the questions which has been asked, the click through rate and so on. Very simple analytics, but this also gives you a great idea of what you can write about. Because if a lot of people are asking about a specific plugin, then maybe you should write an article about that plugin. Then we do also have the feed here where you can basically train the phrase assistant. So here it is showing you all of the different questions which could not be answered. Then you can go in here and then you can tell how it should answer this question. So here we have hi Philip. Basically let's train this one. And then I could say that it should say hi back or something like that as for name maybe. And that's how you can make it even smarter. Then we also have the users here but I am not collecting any data at the moment. But now let's try and go to my website so you can see this phrase assistant. So in the bottom right corner here, you can see that the phrase assistant is and it's asking how high can I help. If I click on it, then I can start typing questions. So I can say, what do you know about Upfeed for instance, because that's the latest article. Okay, now it just auto corrected. But one thing I will say is that, let me just try again here. Now it got it correct. I think it will not be able to answer this question because it has not crawled that part yet. And you can see that here it can then ask for email and then I will personally follow up on this specific question. But let's try and ask something different. So here I'm asking if niches is good and it could not answer that question but try to notice here that it is also suggesting what to ask for. Again, I don't think it has crawled niches yet but here I can say is elements are good for SEO. So I will click on that and then a phrase will now go to that article. It will then pull out the section and then answer my question. So you can see here it's pulled out the section and then it's 
answering my question and then I can say whether it was helpful or not. So that is just really great to see. So this will lower the amount of questions which will be sent to you. Or if you don't have a live chat on your website, this is basically like a more advanced search for your website. So all of your visitors can find exactly what they're looking for because they can search down to the section. That is really helpful. But that is the phrase assistant. So just to sum everything up, you can use phrase.io manually or you can use phrase.io with the AI writer. Both of them works great. And with the manual, I have been able to rank numerous articles, number one. And then as a bonus, you also get the phrase assistant, which can answer questions for you. And it's basically seen as an advanced search. Phrase.io has three paid plans and the pricing is fair when you compare it to Brainwork and to Market Muse. Market Muse is the premium in these bunches of AI research tools, whereas Brainwork comes just after Phrase.io. What makes Phrase.io unique is that they have built their own AI. However, I will say about Phrase.io's pricing, the SEO add-on is an add-on. It is not part of the premium plan. I do understand that it's not part of the basic and the mid-tier plan, but if you ask me, it should be part of the most premium plan. But the alternatives, Brainwork and Market Muse are right up there. Brainwork I have already reviewed, which you can watch here. Market Muse is more premium in this bunch and they have more data and more insights to fill in on and they have more functionality. I do know Phrase.io is working on a lot of these different elements. They will not highlight it. But based on what I have read and seen, they're working on these different maps where we can easily find the content gaps. That is something Market Muse is very well known for. So if you need a premium tool, Market Muse is great for you. Otherwise, I'm a huge fan of Phrase.io and the way the workflow is within. Phrase.io does not have an official roadmap, but based on what I can read in their Facebook group, they're working on a content gap module so we can easily see what pieces of content we need to focus on. Then they are working on improving their AI because what's unique about Phrase is that I have mentioned they have built their own AI, but this does also require a lot of maintenance and a lot of optimization. So that is a big part for them. As well as I know that they're working on optimizing the workflow so we can go faster from having a search Phrase to having a full written article. And right now it can be done in two ways as you have just seen. It can be done manually by sitting and typing in and it can be done using AI. So in their Facebook group, which I will definitely recommend you being part of, they're really good at reading the feedback they get from their users. And that's what it's all about when building these types of products. You need to build it to your target group and not to what you think based on a hunch. Phrase.io is a really powerful tool and they're so good at visualizing a lot of data and then their templates is just a huge pro. I do however wish that they would make the SEO add-on part of the premium plan and that they would make it possible to export to WordPress. I do know that they're working on a WordPress plugin so this might come in the near future. With Phrase.io, I have been able to rank numerous articles number one on Google. They make it so easy to rank articles because they cut the research time in half. Phrase.io is slowly becoming a mature product and with their unique AI writer, I want to give Phrase.io four and a half stars. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.